For today's televisual challenge, our producers have arranged for us to meet at Birmingham's historic amateur boxing club, where they've conveniently positioned a high-end OLED and QLED TV in the ring. Boxing and TVs famously go together. It was the first sport to be filmed by Thomas Edison in 1894. And Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier's thriller in Manila was the first event to be broadcast around the world by a continuous satellite signal. Today, though, our TVs are scrapping it out to see which one has the best picture. I'm in the red corner with this top of the line for 2021 LG G1. It's also 55 inch, it's also 4K, it's also HDR, and it's an OLED TV. In the blue corner, which is the home corner, by the way, John, I am backing the QLED. Specifically, the Samsung 55 inch 4K Neo QLED HDR. Anyway, did you not get the memo about the sports kit? No, I'm afraid I didn't. Let's get on with test one. The all-important weigh-in. And just like boxers before a big fight, it's our TV's chance to show off their best attributes while we size them up good and proper. So first up, let's give them a little measure. OK, mine comes in at 2.6 centimetres. How about you? Well, mine is half a centimetre thinner. It's 2.1. My OLED TV is thinner than George's because the organic pixels inside the screen emit their own light. You don't need a separate backlight to illuminate them. And while my QLED does rely on a backlight, its quantum dot pixels are 50,000 times smaller than a human hair, meaning my set only has to be 5 millimetres deeper than the OLED to accommodate all that extra tech. Very different design, though. With the LG, all the sockets are exposed at the back, whereas with the Samsung, you've got a breakout box. Now, the advantage of that is that you just have one wire coming out of mm. your TV, not multiple ones if you have different boxes and DVD players and things like that. Disadvantages is that you do actually have to find a place to house it. And although where you plug your stuff into these TVs differ, both have four HDMI 2 ports and three USB ports. However, my OLED comes with its own dynamic range tech, HDR10 Pro, which LG says intensifies content. It also boldly boasts 100% colour fidelity. Sounds fancy, John, but my QLED packs some heat with Quantum HDR 2000 and 100% colour volume. Both TVs have similar energy ratings, but with a thinner display and no breakout box, my OLED should be lighter and easier to hang in pride of place on the wall. Well, let's find out for sure, shall we? Ooh! It's a heavy weight. My OLED tips the scales at a higher than expected 20.85 kilos. But what about George's QLED? Not forgetting its breakout box. So that makes it as a whole 19.3 kilos. Which makes it lighter than yours, John. Result. But is it enough to tip the scales in the QLED's favour? Even though your Samsung is going to look uh, more elegant on a table, I'm nevertheless, I think overall on this round, I'm slightly drawn to the LG. I agree. I mean, yes, yours is heavier, but overall looks, I actually prefer the LG. So it's my heavyweight OLED that wins round one, thanks to its sleek design and good looks. But I'm not throwing the towel in yet. It's time for round two, where we've been asked to film a fight to test our TV's colour and brightness. I hope that's not a fight between you and me. Gosh, I hope not. You're competitive enough at the best of times. Fear not, John. It seems our producers have roped in the talents of two of Birmingham's finest amateur boxers, Race and Muhammad Ali. Though, a different one, obvs. Our cameraman's going to film a sparring session to create the ideal 4K footage for teletesting. Well done. Mm, excellent. Thank you, Jenny. That's uh, absolutely excellent. Let's go and check out the footage. Let's. To compare our TVs, we're placing them side by side and playing the footage at exactly the same time. What are your initial thoughts? They're quite different, actually, aren't they, surprisingly? <laughs> yes. Yours immediately looks a lot sort of cooler and bluer in tone. Yes, the LG is bluer, Samsung is warmer. As well as having a warmer picture, my Samsung QLED is better at reproducing the punchy red and blue outfits of our boxes. This is achieved thanks to a special layer built into QLED screens, which makes colours more saturated than OLED sets. I wonder if actually the bottom line is they're both extremely good TVs. Yes. You could live with both of them and you'd probably tweak them a bit in the settings to get to the colour balance you prefer or, and the brightness levels you yeah. prefer. Oh, I mean, those are both very good pictures, aren't they? 
looking to find a definite winner, we're going to test our tellies at more extreme viewing angles. <laughs> All aboard. Can we just do a reflection check? I'm enjoying the ride. You do... You, I, I'm seeing a lot more... Yes, a lot, the, lot more reflections the on the Samsung. They're slightly distracting. They're sort of like rainbow-esque. Yes. Psychedelic. I'm going to hop on over yep. here. I'll pull you around here. Well, that's an exceedingly artificial angle. The OLED, it does look crisper. You can still see mm. the blacks. You've got more detail there. LG is performing better, mm. I think, than the Samsung. With less reflection and more detail at acute angles, my LG OLED is the better performer if you're pushed up at the far end of the sofa on fight night. But when slumped more centrally, my Samsung QLED tech has better colour reproduction and is much brighter. Mm. <laughs> Can't decide. I think we best call this round a draw, John, which leaves things delicately poised going into our final round later in the show. But will either telly be able to deliver the knockout blow? Well, it looks like at the moment the big fight's level on points. And what you didn't see in that item was John deliberating between the two Vs for probably about 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> I mean, it was an agonising decision for you. You just couldn't quite work out which one was better picture quality. Yeah, I mean, they're both very, very good pictures. I can't wait to see who hits the canvas and who lifts the belt in the final round. So far in today's boxing-themed TV challenge, we've reached a split decision. My OLED shaded round one with better aesthetics, but George's QLED held its own in round two with impressive colours and brightness. But now it's time to see if either of our TVs have enough to secure a knockout in the final round. The all-important contrast test. And as boxers often see stars, so are we. John, work your magic. A higher contrast picture can mean truer blacks in dark scenes, making your movie-watching experience more realistic and enjoyable. There they are, the stars on a loop. So to see which set is best, we're playing an animation of a starry night sky which is about as extreme as contrast gets. And first up, it's John's OLED. Well, the whites on that, they actually pop like stars. Yes. This, I mean, it's almost there, but that is so much obviously better. Yes, I mean, the LG looks like a night sky and that looks like a night sky viewed through a, a a clouds. <laughs> 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 This is because each and every pixel on my OLED TV is its own light source. So when displaying the night sky, they can turn themselves off altogether, giving a true and deep black. The black it almost has a three-dimensional quality, the black. It feels like there's sort of depth to it. Just, it's just not as inky. Mm. My QLED, however, uses a large backlight, which the night sky pixels need to try and block out. But in comparison, this produces a more washed-out effect. It's not just the deeper blacks which give my OLED better contrast, though. Get your microscope out. Taking a closer look reveals that the OLED pixels that make up the stars produce a sharp, bright white light. There's no sort of leakage from the white pixels. But it's a different story on George's QLED. Oh, look at it. It's doing its best with those uh, red, green and blue pixels combined. It's not even white! No, it's... Uh, it's rainbow! This is because the QLED backlight shines through a quantum dot film which produces white light using the whole colour spectrum. You can sort of see it, it slightly... slightly leaks out. Yes. It seems my QLED is well and truly punch drunk after our contrast round, but did it do enough earlier to take the contest on points? So, round one. OLED clear win of round one. Sleeker, yep. slimmer. Just a little bit better looking. Yep. Round two, I'd say. A bit indecisive. Draw. For me, it was very indecisive. Yes, I couldn't find a clear winner. However hard I tried. And round three, the OLED has definitely taken the win. Yes, definitely. So, overall, I think it's an OLED victory. 